Hello, welcome to the fifth video. Five. Uh, see, we're breezing through it really quick. We're going to do maths. We can't be doing marketing and not being doing maths. It's not complicated maths. It's the simple stuff that you learn when you're like four, five years of age. Maybe eight for some of them. But you'll see that Panda's been has been designed in a way that makes your life quite easy for doing your basic maths. So let's get on it. Again, load pandas. Load the data set. It takes time, maybe 30 seconds it takes. So, as I always do, let's check out this data set. Oh, all these columns that I've seen before. Describe it. We, we know that. These are just things that I do all the time. Any data set I get, even if it's one I know, eyeball it. I'll info it, describe it, eyeball it. <clears throat> so, next we want to add a couple of columns together. I mean, I've just picked random columns, which are numbers, but we're just going to add them together. Um, so we're going to add play five stars and play four stars. And as you can see, we select the data frame in the column. Then we go add. And then we, in a bracket, we add the column that we want to calculate, right? So it's as simple as that. And what it will do is, boom, it will just give you that output. Simple like that. Um, next, we're going to do right add. What do you think this does? If it's R add, it's right add. It is adding the four stars with the five stars as opposed to the five stars with the four stars. So it goes in that order unless you put R and then it goes in that order. Yeah. Okay. And now we're going to go do the same. This is a really simple notebook at this stage. We, you just need to remember uh, what methods you're trying to use, right? So sub is subtract and R sub is right. Do we have an R sub? There we go. R sub has moved. R sub, right sub, right? So then we get negative numbers. Then we're doing divide. So we divide this by this. Inf, oh, I can't remember what inf means. It's not gonna be that important though. And then we do floor divide. So we get these numbers to decimal points, floor divide. I didn't know what this was until I, until I started doing it, so I learn new stuff all the time. Uh, a floor divide just gives us like a solid number. See? Zero, three. So inf, ah, inf will be zero then. If it comes out of zero, it's infinite. Oh, that makes so much sense. Silly me. Okay, three, one, two. You get, get what a floor divide does. A right floor divide. You guessed it. Four of five gives you a floor divide and it gives you a load of zeros. Floor divide really useful actually. I'm glad I found that. I'm glad I made this challenge video, which then challenged me to learn something new. Mull, what do we think mull is? Multiply, Ooh. same again. Right, uh, left with right, unless we specify we want right with left. And then we get it the other way around. A power, so this is to the power of, um, which is quite useful. I don't use it very often. In fact, I can't remember the last time we used it, but to the power of. Again, left with right, and then R power, right with left. I'm gonna do something a little bit more complicated now. Um, we're gonna create, I'm just gonna create a couple of dummy data frames just to show you adding two data sets together. And we're gonna to call the first one Facebook ads, so FB ads. And the second one is UAC, so it's universal ad campaign ads. And that's what they look like. We're going to, this is, this is where some trickiness can come in. So if you're adding two columns, that'll be kind of okay. But if you're adding two data frames that don't exactly match, and as you can see, Facebook ads go A, B, C, D, E, and universal ad campaigns go A, B, C, D, E, F. So there's an additional um, column there. So if we do Facebook ad universal ad campaigns, we get NANs here because it, there's nothing to add. There's no F to add. So, what we're going to do is, we're, and th this is probably something you'll need to do as kind of default. You wouldn't do this when default, but I just wanted to show you where the error would occur. So we do Facebook ad, 
Facebook ads dot add UAC ads and then fill zeros, right? And there we go. So it is basically just just added it with zero and zero to a number makes the number the same. Um, and that's how you get round if you've got um, additional columns and you're just trying to kind of uh, add two data frames together, but one's bigger than the other and from a column point of view. Um, so yeah, that is how you, that's how you do basic maths in Pandas. It's super simple, super intuitive, easy for you to do. There's other ways to do maths in Python, but um, you get some errors, which, which these uh, methods try to eliminate. So they're trying to make it easier for you to do your job. All right, this is the end of the fifth video. We're five in already. Amazing. Hope we're spending 30 minutes a day on it. Please, it's not a lot of time. Um, if you're liking the videos, please like, comment, subscribe if you have problems, like you're getting errors, places that don't make sense. Put it in the comments, I'll do my best to answer them. I will see you in the sixth video of the 30 day challenge. Ciao for now.